If you want to know how to make the jailbreak film robbery in Roblox Studio, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video on my channel. In this tutorial we're going to be continuing the jailbreak tomb robbery. In this part 4 we're just going to make a quick little diamond as I am in need of some time for myself and all that stuff. So what we're going to do, we're just going to make the gem. The, the, the gem mechanic, the, the thing, you know. So let's do that in this tutorial and then we should be good to go. And sorry for not uploading that much but... If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to become a member, click the blue, jo uh, blue join button down below on my channel. Uh, you should see it fairly quickly. So let's carry on with the tutorial. So what we're gonna do, as I said, part four. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna make a, we're gonna be making the uh, the gem. You know, just the basic gem. So what you want to do, you want to go and go to a replicator storage, add in a folder, tomb a robbery, add in another folder with a remote events and um, add in a remote event and name it play anim. Now go to start to GUI, insert a folder, tomb robbery, and we're just going to be doing some local scripts. We're gonna make an, inserting a local script, and inside of that local script, we're gonna make a folder with a descendants. And inside of that, we're gonna be doing animation. So just copy what I'm doing: tomb robbery, remote events, play anim, tomb robbery, local script, local script, descendant, animation. Now inside of your local script, what you want to type is game colon get service replicated storage dot tomb robbery dot remote events dot play anim dot on clients event colon connect function yes enter so this I want to have this in your code now local player six the game colon get service players dot local player local anim is because the player the character Character dot humanoid dot oh, let me see. oh wait load animation script dot descendants dot animation and all you want to do is just nm colon play and there you go that's your um how should I say that that is your loading animation done so now you want to do the hard part Want to insert a uh, accessory? Yep, accessory. You want to be naming it a GM. Want to insert a mesh part? Actually, I want to insert just a normal part along with a special mesh. As you can see it's this cool roundy thingy now. So the ID for this uh, mesh. Uh, mesh thingy, you know, it's gonna be one six zero 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 three three six three. Enter, and you got this cute little diamond. The scale is gonna be five by five by five. Boom. Now you got this. So if you want, you can scale it. Of course. Oh wait, what the? Okay, no. Just scale it manually. Uh, why is it a little bit in the ground? Is it normal? Nope. So this is your mesh part. What I just recommend first is scaling the part at a fair rate. So we're going to search for a size. Um, let's do 4x4x4. Four by four by four. So it's a block now and then insert the mesh. As you can see, now it's a block, which is perfectly. Now you want to insert a string value. And you want to name this special mesh. The value, well, we're going to name it avatar part scale type. And the value is going to be classic. To then add in a uh, left, uh, well, attachment. And we're going to be naming it left grip attachment. And quick reminder, this is 
a little bit hard and the diamond will glitch a little bit you just have to position that yourself so put it a little bit down you know yeah it's a little bit down and you should be good to go so for testing purposes I'm gonna, you just put these two parts in uh, uh, useless stuff along with already pro boom so now you got your gem and we're gonna put the gem in surface storage let's just do this again and then gems And I'm just going to show you the basics of how to make it animating and working. So, inside of the gem, let's see, you want to name this, and go. Oh. So now for testing purposes, what we're going to be doing is kink light off, anchored on, proximity prompt, script, sc uh, well, script, dot parent, dot proximity prompt, dot triggered, colon connect, function, player, um... Let me see, because player is just an instance, so we gotta do local humanoid is x2. Oh, it's not hard to believe. Okay, local C, local clone is x2 uh, game. Go on, get service, server storage dot uh, tomb robbery dot gems dot gem. So then, um, let me see, so we got that now. Clone, colon, clone. To then player, that character, that humanoid, colon, add accessory clone. And what I want, um, if player, that character, colon, find first child gem. Well, if not, then this. So let's test this out. So let's see. It's gonna be a little short video, but okay. So if we press E, we get the diamond. As you can see, it's a little glitched, of course, but you just gotta fix that yourself. Uh, animating is what we have to do too. So, what we can do now is, first of all, game, colon. Get service replicate a storage dot tomb robbery remote events dot play animation colon fire client yes fire client uh, player so you're good to go with that now so what you want to do you want to go to plugins you want to go to build rig r15 block rig get your dummy go to animation editor this one my cool hands create and of course, I am not an animator, so this is going to look a little bit funny, but also not. So, what you want to do, rotate this, um, like 180. Put it over here back. Do that with this one too. Rotate 180. Put it like this. And now, the tricky part, rotate it like this. And then... Uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the red arrow. And put the red and put it like above his head. So do that with this one too. Rotate and sides. Now this is my handing animation, I guess. So now you want to go to this set animation priority action export. Uh, hello, submit and copy this ID. Just copy this ID. Uh, 7141. Okay, I don't, I'm just gonna copy paste that. So I have it on my clipboard right now. So I'm gonna exit this. I'm gonna delete the dummy because I don't need it anymore. You're gonna go to your animation in the start your GUI. I'm gonna put, put the animation ID in. Note, you cannot use mine. Due to copyright laws, uh, you cannot. So now all you have to do is just close everything up. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play here. Uh, if we press E, the animation is going to play and the diamond appears above our head, but for some reason this happens. That's not really cool, you know. So, I don't have a fix for that, actually, to be honest. All I can do is go to the... What is it? Left grip attachment. All you can do is go to the attachment and just reposition it. So, for example, above 
rotating it a little and I'm rotating it like this and a little bit like this and that could work one thing I want to show you uh, go to the handle and put the color as 175 comma two two one comma two five five so it's like that and then put it as glass so now it's like a real diamond so now we're gonna put the back into the gyms I want to add an H uh, well you want to duplicate this put it in here gem giver put these scripts in there delete the part delete the attachment the avatar and the special mesh never mind keep that one so now you got your gem thingies so let me see if you can just do this of course this is just testing purposes we're gonna fixing uh the rest in the later tutorial so if we just play here we're gonna do a quick little speed run so now uh, i'm just gonna go testing so boom and they open and the door has been opened, so if you go over here, they're gonna fall apart. Then over here, we got the spikes. Oh, just gonna wait. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, so we made that out, and now dodge the arrows. Okay, and now we're here, and now we can interact, get the diamond, and run away. Now, if you try to get these, you're not gonna get it. Or we have a bunch of errors. We'll be fixing that in another tutorial. Now, as you can see, we only have one gem. So if we spam it, we don't care. We're not getting it. One thing, uh, delete the others, go to your script, and then script a parent colon destroy. Okay. Put it in tomb robbery, uh, descendants map, gems, and boom, 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 boom. Put it in here, and you're good to go. Of course, this is not exactly working yet. We're going to be doing that in another tutorial. This is just the basics, as you know. So now, if we press E, it's going to get destroyed, and we get the diamond. And that's exactly what we need, and of course, it looks pretty weird, but... You get my point. So if you did in fact enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, do what I said. If you like the video, like it, dislike it, dislike it. And um, my name is Newbie, and I say peace out. Thank you for 6,000 subscribers.